find all the real and imaginary zeros of this polynomial here. So in other words, if we had this equal to zero, what would be the values of x that would give us a solution? And so the first one, we have to kind of test values to get, to get just one solution to kind of start us off. And possible values are any factors of 20. I mean, divided by the co leading coefficient, but just one. So we can just say it's any factors of 20. So 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 4, negative 4, etc. Now, you typically want to start with testing the lowest values, like 1 and negative 1 first, because they're the easiest and they're usually the most common. And the way we can do this is basically you can just plug them in, like 1 to the 4th minus 1 cubed, etc. But there's an easier way is just use synthetic division. So put 1 on the side, all the coefficients of the polynomial, put at the top, do synthetic division by bringing down the number, and then if you get 0 at the very end, then it's a it's a 0, right? That's, you know, it's equal to 0. And so if you test 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, all those will give you a number not 0. So they're not a 0 of the polynomial. But if you try negative 4, it is a 0. So you can see here I did my synthetic division, brought down the first number, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add, etc. I got a 0. So what this means is that x minus this number, x minus negative 4, in other words x plus 4, is a factor. So I can factor it out. And what's left is x cubed, I bring down the power by 1, minus 5x squared plus x minus 5. And the reason we can factor it out is because now if I plug in negative 4 here, I'll get 0 times something, the whole thing will be 0. You can tell that's a 0 of this polynomial. Now I still have this cubic part here, so I can factor it again. And again, it's we look for numbers that are a factor of the constant, and we already tried 1 and negative 1, so 5 is the only other factor, 5 and negative 5. And so 5 actually does turn out to be a factor. So bring down the coefficients of the polynomial, put 5 over on the left, bring down the first number, multiply, add, multiply, add, etc. You'll get 0 at the very end. And so that means we can factor out x minus 5. And what we're left with is, again, it's 1 power down. So it becomes x squared. There's no x term. It's 0. And then plus 1. So here are three factors that this polynomial factors into. And so if we set this equal to 0, then either one of these has to be 0. So you can see x equals negative 4, x equals 5, and x squared plus 1 equals 0. When we solve for x, you take, subtract 1 from both sides and take the square root of both sides. Don't forget that when you take the square root of both sides, it's plus or minus the number on the right. And the square root of negative 1 is i, and so it's plus or minus i. That's the two solutions we get from this factor. And so for our final answer, is x equals negative 4, 5, i, and negative i.